Good morning. Give me just a minute. We'll let everybody jump on board with us and then we'll get started. Good morning, Barbara, how are you? There y'all come. Morning, Linda and Gail and all you, oh Val. Here comes everybody. I hope y'all had a great weekend. My husband and I drove to um, Branson Thursday and Friday and Saturday, drove back home. And then yesterday we got this wild hair to paint our breakfast room. We're redoing our breakfast and kitchen room. So while I was packing our meals, for the week and doing laundry, he started taping off the breakfast room, so we got that painted yesterday, so I'm exhausted today. That's hard work. Okay, let's get started. I've been excited about this challenge more than any challenge we've done, probably because I need it more than any challenge we've done, and I hope that you feel the same way. Um, this one is gonna be the most difficult for many of us, because this one is requiring us to dig deep. I said um, in, the, in my comment when I started, hope and luck, not this time. This challenge has nothing to do, hey sis, how are you? This challenge has nothing to do with luck. It's all on us. It also has nothing to do with hope because hope implies that um, there's not gonna be effort on our part we're just wishing that um, we are gonna get the result without putting in the effort, and that's not gonna be the case this time. Um, what I asked you to do a few days ago, and if you haven't done it, I encourage you, my Facebook just went crazy, um, I encourage you to do it. Write down what it is that you're getting rid of this time. Um, for some reason, writing it down just makes it more real. And it, um, have it there. Put it on your refrigerator. Put it on your computer. Put it everywhere you need to so that it's visible and you can't ignore it. Um, I think I told you I'm evicting sugar, uh, all processed sugar. Um, we will have a piece of bread occasionally, but not the norm. Um, we will have fruit occasionally, but not as much as we were eating. Only because um, while I'm getting rid of the sugar from my diet, anything sweet triggers that craving. So for the first few days, nothing sweet. I, I'm going hardcore. Um, I have allowed the sugar to creep in and it has become way too um, convenient for me. So I have to get rid of sugar. Um, I'm not suggesting that you do that. Your creep could be something completely different. Um, I saw where several of you mentioned that late night snacking. Um, some of you mentioned excuses. Um, some of you mentioned no exercising. So whatever it is that has crept into your routine that is keeping you from being as successful as you want to be, that's what we're evicting. This challenge will run through the end of April, so it's a little bit more than 30 days. Um, it's gonna be closer to 45, I don't know the exact number, but um, that's what we're doing. And here's how we're doing it. And this is where luck has nothing to do with it. We're planning for success. Um, we're not uh, uh, We're not gonna just willy-nilly go about this. We're gonna uh, have a plan and we're gonna stick to that plan. For me, that means I don't have any sugar in my house. It means I don't give myself permission to have a bite of it. Uh, sorry, y'all, allergies. 
Uh, it means that I have to say no. I have to own. I have to be responsible. I can't uh, waver and I can't make excuses for justifying um, that creep coming back in. So have a plan. Write it down if you need to. Um, don't be caught um, floundering. Um, we say in Weight Watchers a lot of times we encourage people, you know, to plan their meals, to pre-track, to check a restaurant before you go. When you don't have a plan is when you plan to fail. So um, have a plan. Write it down if that's what you need to do. Here's the big one. No excuses. No excuses. What's stopping you from being successful? Figure that out and, and get rid of it. Um, I, I tend to justify uh, my, my uh, wavering um, from my plan. Um, I don't necessarily make, ex well, I do make excuses. I'm too busy or, you know, I've, um, I, I'm not really in control of this meal. Those are just excuses. When I first started doing Weight Watchers and when I was working really hard to lose my weight, I didn't let those things derail me. So I've got to get back into that mentality and I dare say a lot of you need to do that too. Um, I would I would plan my meals and I would stick to them religiously. I would have um, on-plan snacks available. Um, if I knew I was going to be going out with friends, I would look ahead of time and decide what I was going to eat. And I've just kind of gotten away from a little bit of that. So I gotta, I've got to rein that back in. And um, so that's where my plan comes in. Um, I'm not going to be caught uh, without a plan. I'm going to give 100% every day. Every day between now and the end of April, 100%. Nothing less because I deserve um, to have a 100% commitment to what I know is good and right for me. You do what's right for you, but um, I think anything less than 100% may be kind of um, not going all in. And I'm hoping that you'll go all in this time. Um, here's, here's what we have to do. You gotta be honest with yourself. Um, do you really need that treat? Do you really need that extra 15 or 20 minutes of sitting on the couch that you could be up getting in a walk? Do you really not have time to do whatever it is that you're writing down as your goal to do? Do you really need to keep that box of Oreos in the house for somebody else? Do you really need to drink those six diet drinks a day? Whatever yours is, do you really need it or are you justifying it? Are you making excuses for having it around or are you making excuses for not getting in that exercise? Be honest with yourself. Um, before you reach for it, ask yourself, is this gonna get me closer to my goal? And if it isn't, don't do it. Um, I, I, in the evenings after my husband gets home from work, we sit in front of the television and eat our dinner. Um, that easily turns into sitting in front of the tele television for another hour. Well, we could, and, and I've justified it by saying we have very little time together in the evenings and I enjoy spending time talking with him, and, but that's not what we're doing. We're not really talking, we're watching the television. So our thing, the nights that we're home after dinner, we're going into the bedroom where we have our treadmill. We have a treadmill, we have some small weights and, and a, a recumbent bike. So after dinner, we're going in there and we're going to spend 30 minutes minimum in that room. Um, I'm getting rid of that excuse. We're still gonna spend the time together, but we're gonna do it while we're working out. I'm also getting rid of the excuse of, you know, of not having my meals because I'm I'm planning them and I'm preparing them in advance. And we have some events coming up this week um, where we're going to be out and about. And so um, 
I'm looking at my computer because it's going crazy over here. Um, but I'm prepared. I have a plan and I'm sticking with it. I'm going 100% all in. Um, here's the deal. April 30 is coming whether we are ready or not. Um, it's going to be here whether we have made full use of the days between now and then. Um, so what I want you to be able to do is look back on April 30 and be proud of what you've accomplished. Nobody controls that but you. You can't hope it happens. You can't, uh, luck has nothing to do with it. It's all gonna be on you. How much were you willing to commit and how dedicated were you to yourself and to making your plan happen? Here's a little quote I read on Facebook this morning I wanna share with you. It says, don't downgrade your dream to fit your reality. Upgrade your convictions to match your destiny. In other words, require more of yourself. Um, if your dream is to be at a certain size, don't downgrade that size to fit the effort that you're willing to give. Um, if your dream is to end the day, April 30, saying, I accomplished whatever your goal was. Mine is April 30, I want to be able to say, I did it, I went the whole time with no sugar. Well, I can't downgrade that dream by saying, mm, I can have sugar today, or I can have that little bite, or I won't work out today because I'm tired. I wanna be able to look back April 30 and say, I did it. I wrote down my dream and I did it. I did everything I was supposed to do because if you do that, then May 1st, um, you don't have those demons to conquer anymore. You can move on to a whole new challenge. Um, but we can't ever conquer this mountain if we keep going back and starting over. Um, I told somebody one day, I love football. Um, if the football team, you know, they start a play and uh, the receiver gets the ball and he's running towards the, the, the goal line and um, he gets tackled every time, almost without exception. They just get a few yards and then they start the play over. But if they went back to the original point every time they got tackled, they'd never score and, and there wouldn't be a game. But what they do is they start where they fell and they get up and they start right there. Well, I want you to um, not keep going back to the beginning every time, but if you fall, get up right there and keep going forward, keep pushing forward. Um, somebody said the other day, if you're on the highway and you have a destination in mind and you accidentally made the wrong exit, if you turned around and went back home and started all over again, you'd never get there. So just get right back on. Um, you may have little bumps along the way. That's called life and we all have those, but don't let those derail you. Um, don't let those convince you that you can't do this. You can do this. You just have to keep moving forward. So write down your goal, put it everywhere you need to, have a plan in place, don't downgrade your dream to fit your reality, upgrade your reality to fit your dream and believe in yourself. You can do this and we're, there's a whole bunch of us doing it with you. So um, I'm absolutely excited about what we're gonna accomplish over the next 40 days, whatever it is, 40, 41, something like that. Um, I'm excited to see what all of your um, challenges are and how you plan to um, succeed because I know you will. And um, let's be an encouragement to everybody. There's gonna, I'm guarantee you, uh, probably, let's see, this is Monday. By Wednesday, I'm gonna have a headache. I'm probably gonna be cranky. And uh, I know that because I've gotten off sugar before. And why I ever allowed myself to get back on it, who knows. But this time when I get off of it, I'm not getting back on. Sugar's not good for me. It doesn't add anything to my life. 
Um, it's just an instant gratification, but um, I want to keep my body healthy and I want to fuel it with things that are good for me, not uh, things that just satisfy my little indulgent whims. So um, I, I know that it's going to be a struggle this week. I know that I'm not going to be the only one suffering, but um, if it's worth it, it's worth pushing through the struggle. And uh, I want to be healthy. I spent, I told you we went to Branson. My husband and I went to a praise fest. Um, oh, mention the t-shirt. Let me do that real quick before I forget. We are going to start a new campaign for um, spring and summer shirts. And we'll be opening that campaign, I, I think, this week. That's our plan. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they're going to say. The, the moderators and I are bouncing around some ideas, but um, I'm hoping that one of our shirts, uh, if, if, I, if, if I'm if i successful in convincing the moderators to do this, um, I want a, a tank top that says, I can, I will, watch me. Um, I want to be able to wear that while I'm working out this summer. So, um, but we'll have some we'll have some uh, some different shirts for you to choose from for the spring and summer. So just stay tuned; those will be coming. But um, anyway, I my husband and I spent a couple of days this week at a praise fest in Branson, uh, which we thoroughly enjoyed doing. But there were a lot of very old, uh, out of shape, unhealthy people there, and I I watched them struggle. Uh, just to, to walk, just to get around. And I realized that um, we're all going to age. There's nothing we can do about that. And we want to age because that beats the alternative, right? But I want to age well. I want to age where um, I delay as long as I can my body not being able to get around. And I know that what I put in my mouth is going to make a huge difference. And what I do with my body today is going to make a huge difference in how my body responds 10 years from now. So that's my goal, to take control because I want to age well. Um, so anyway, I've rambled long enough, and I thank you for spending the time with me this morning. I hope and pray that... Um, you join me in this challenge and that we all look back April 30 being able to say that we did it well. Um, I don't want to just do it. I want to do it well. Um, and I hope you do too. Um, let me look at the comments and see if there's anything I can answer. If the moderators are on, if I forgot to mention anything, please remind me. Um, let's see. Paula says she works in elder care and sees the effects of choices in aging. It's true, and so uh, we can make a difference. We can do something about it. We want to age. We just want to age gracefully. So I want I want people to look at me when I'm, you know, 70 and 75, and 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 kind of not believe that I'm that old because I'm so active. So I know that if I want that to be the case, I got to be active now. Uh, mention how awesome you are. <laughs> you're so sweet and you're crazy. Um, Val says that she votes yes on the I can and I will watch me shirt. Um, if you have any suggestions for a shirt that you would like to see in our spring summer campaign, um, post it on the board and um, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we can't do them all. And please remember that, you know, the more wordy they are, the more difficult it is to put on a shirt. We just want, we want this campaign to be about um, being active. So I want to have some shirts for us to choose from. Obviously, they'll have our Weight Watchers logo on there, um, but, um, you know, maybe two or three different options. And, and that reminds me, um, our Weight Watchers Over 50 logo is copyrighted. Um, so having that printed by another company violates our copyright and mostly you know it, it's we don't keep a profit 
from these shirts, but mostly the reason that we want to keep it copyrighted is we just kind of don't want it misused. So I hope you'll keep that in mind. It's not that we're trying to be ugly and you know keep you from having a shirt made somewhere else, but um, if we don't keep control of that, you know, I, I would feel terrible if somebody put our logo on a shirt that just, you know, had profanity or something that that I just don't like. So, anyway, just keep that in mind. Um, let's see, what else was I going to mention? Um, oh, gosh, I should have wrote it down. I feel like there was something else I was going to say. Uh, but, anyway, share your ideas for a shirt with us, and hopefully by the end of the week we'll have those ready to go. And... Um, then you can order those for the spring and summer. And, um, oh, oh, friendship. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, for the month of, through the end of March, um, we're encouraging you to invite your friends to this wonderful group. I, I don't even know what I would do without all of you to get me through this journey. And I, I want other people to, uh, enjoy this too. So, um, if you have a friend that they don't have to be 50, just keep in mind that most of us are. So, most of the things that we talk about um, are for, for people our age. But if they are comfortable, you know, with with that, we're great with having somebody that's not quite 50. But we want this to be uh, still our close-knit family. So if you have other Weight Watchers friends or you know family that you think would benefit from this group, invite them. Uh, we'd love to have them. So um, I think that's it. Um, just um, be kind to each other. Be supportive as you always are. And um, let's keep those great ideas coming. Um, I'm going to post a, a thread like I do every morning for the challenge, and that's where we will um, get each other through the day. So, um, uh, Anna says she's eight, 80 and still trying. Anna, that's what I want to be. I don't want to, I don't want to be chair bound. I don't want to be an 80 year old who can't um, get through the day. So, I'm going to take control of that now, and I hope you are too. Have a wonderful day, and uh, be kind to each other, and I'll see you on the board. Bye, everybody.